of a song that mom had mom had taught us when we were just little kids in the land of fadeless day lies a city for square it shall never pass away for there is no night there. God shall wipe away all tears. There's no death, no pain, no fear. And they count not time by years. In there is no night there. There they need no sunshine bright in that city for square. For the Lamb is all the light, and there is no night there. top that, but I gotta follow it. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for giving me the honor and the responsibility of taking care of mom, grandma, friend, mother-in-law. Time and time again I've done this, obviously, and I would have individuals come to me about a year later and they'll say, I just feel something's missing. So, the course of my actions seem to change and evolve through the times. I seem to forget about the people who are still left behind. So, it's my job, my responsibility now to take care of all of you. Now, think about this. For the course of your time in this grieving section, how many of you have heard, I'm so sorry for your loss. If there's anything I could do for you, let me know. Well, time starts now, ladies and gentlemen. The time starts now to take that action and to take those requests they give to you and use them. I do need you. I have to talk about it. And I continue to celebrate her life. So please, lend an ear from me. Give me your heart for a second because I need to share with you about a woman. About a woman who has taught me the things I need to succeed in this life. How to take my first steps was the mom's job. The job of matriarch. So 
so important. It's all up to us also, not only to call upon our friends and our families, but you guys bunch right together and you remain as one. For if you do that, that elephant that comes in the room, now anybody knows about the elephant that comes in a room, it's an expression that means I don't want to talk about it, but I know it's here. Well, that's not an elephant, ladies and gentlemen. That is mom. And it's okay to talk about mom. It's okay to talk about the things she's done to you, the things she's helped you along your way with, and all the wonderful lessons. We are on a moment right now, folks, that we must celebrate her life and her legacy. And if you do that, the elephant disappears because there's no vacancy for the elephant in our lives, folks. There is only room for celebration and life. You guys seem strong enough as it is. You don't need me to tell you this. And if you always, and there is a holiday for everything now that will be without her. Some people call, oh, there's an empty seat in our table. You know what I think I should do with you guys is to remind you that I would keep that seat empty for the whole year to remind you guys that the physical being is not there and you wish you could hear her voice. You wish you could see her one more time. So keep that chair empty. Perhaps even light a candle right by that seat. And reminding us for the first year to always speak as if she's right next to you anyway. Now, before we leave, I know it's cold. This may sound cliche for a mortician to tell you, but I'm telling you right now, it's extremely true. They are called signs. They are real. They could be a cardinal that seems to perch when you least expect it. It could be a beautiful sunny day, but the coldest frigid of temperatures. These are little minute things that we seem to bypass as human beings because that's what our life does. We forget about those things called signs, but I'm telling you right now, that is her. That is her telling us that she's with the big guy upstairs and she is incredibly with no pain. She has a set of wings. She has a crown that we call a halo. That is our personal guardian angel. And there's not a better gift than that, ladies and gentlemen. These signs come not when you want them. They come when your heart screams for it. You don't have to hear it. Your heart is very silent, but it's the most powerful beating thing we have in our body and minds and souls. And when she knows you're in distress, she's going to send down that little sign. And I hope the back of your neck has the hair standing at full attention. I hope your arms have the same issues when your hair is just stand up because that feeling and that surge is her just comforting you. It's as real as it gets. And when you feel it, you know what I'm talking about, what it happens to you. I notice you all have a flower in your hands. Well, eventually you have a whole satchel of flowers. Now, flowers, they, they just mean so many, so many things. And today I'd like to think that flowers are a sign of love, compassion, and devotion. Those three very powerful words I know she had for you. And you all have for them. But the biggest thing I will say to you right now, and it is this most important thing, when you place this flower, so many, many people seem to say, let's go say our goodbyes. Goodbye is meant for something or somebody you do not want to see ever again. It's a permanent thing. So do her the favor. Do yourselves a favor, because we know we're going to meet each other again. When you place that rose or flower here, you don't say goodbye. You just say until we meet again, until we see each other. But until then, I pray for you all, and I hope, and I hope you will, stay together. Be one for her. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the honor and the privilege to serve you. Anybody who wants to present their flower, just be careful on the ice, the rocks, and I would say stay away from the green tarp.